welcome to another edition of Chaffee Break, where we honour exceptional light tank drivers. My name is Maxwell, and today's video is from the user Turtle Speed. That's Turtle Speed, and he's driving the M24 Chaffee on an encounter battle on the Sand River. So, I do just want to give a quick message before we get into this replay that I'm still currently about a fortnight behind in replays so this replay was sent over two weeks ago so if you have recently sent a replay then I probably haven't gotten to watching it just yet as like I said I'm still over a fortnight behind on the replays so to this replay comes into the Sand Dune at the centre there gets some good spotting on pretty much the majority of the enemy force. Spots out the bison there, has a shot and manages to take him out. So being able to spot the majority of the enemy force here and able to discern which positions they are taking and what directions they're heading in. And now just going to circle around this sand dune here and keep popping his head over the top and trying to keep as many of them in view as possible for as long as possible. Although it does look now like the enemy is trying to circle around the sides. Tiger 2 spotted out there. Takes a shot at the Chaffee but unfortunately missing there. Or fortunately for the Chaffee. Should be able to get some free damage on the side of this Tiger 2 now. Again Tiger 2 turns his gun and his attention. But not quite able to get a clear shot on the Chaffee there. As he manages to just reverse behind that sand dune there. And make himself inconspicuous. So an enemy comet coming over the top of the sand dune here. You've got to be careful with the comets as they are very fast and very manoeuvrable. And it looks like he's going one on one with his other comet. Unfortunately, the enemy has pushed himself too far into enemy li into allied lines here. He's probably going to get himself taken out. So he does manage to, manage to take out the other comet but gets himself pounded into submission and is taken out of the battle prematurely there. Probably could have served his team a little bit better if he just stayed alive and played a little bit smarter there. So good. Gets a good hit on that panther as he's reversing. A little bit of free damage. Any kind of free damage is always good. Gets a good shot on the top of that tiger P there causing another little bit of damage. An 88. Facing off against the allied 88. Trying to support that Tiger 2 there. Unfortunately, you can see that the uh, the base capture is already up to 50% and is rising at the speed that would indicate that there's more than one tank in that cap zone. So our man Turtle Speed decides to just abandon that fight as there isn't really much he can do against an AT8, even from the sides and the rear. So he's going to come across and try and defend the cap zone. Now I'm already predicting the YouTube comments and some people are going to be saying oh why didn't he use uh, sniper mode, he could have got a lot more hits if he'd used sniper mode and I have mentioned before that some people do find sniper mode a problem in that you get a lot of stuttering and a lot of frame drops when you switch to sniper mode and the FPS goes down dramatically in sniper mode meaning that you will actually do a lot worse so that is the most common reason why people don't use sniper mode. Gets a good hit on that Hellcat as he's passing by, obviously doing the smart thing of just trying to get one hit on each tank to reset that cap all the way back to zero and now that he's gotten it reset to zero just going to try and focus on this Cromwell and take him out of the battle as quickly as possible as it looks like the Cromwell's having a difficult time trying to hit this Chaffee and that shot even bounces and he's able to just solo that Cromwell from 100 to zero I think it was from 100 to zero he may have taken a little bit of damage so don't quote me on that <laughs> But uh, managing to one-on-one -on -one duel that Cromwell. And it was a good tactic to keep the Cromwell between himself and that Hellcat. Meaning that the Hellcat never really got a clear shot on him. As that uh, that Cromwell was always in between them. Uh, now he's going to be able to come around the side of that Hellcat. Not sure where he's looking. He may actually have been disconnected here. As he's just stubbornly, stubbornly refusing to change the position of his gun. And gets himself taken out. So now that the people who were in the cap zone doing the capping have been taken out. It's time to move off and hide behind this sand dune here. It looks like a medium... No, it was a tank destroyer. An ARL has come in to support. At M4 getting a good bit of damage on the Chaffee. But it looks like his attention is now going to be taken up, taken up by this ARL. And he's going to be able to try and get some damage through the rear armour 
of this M4 here, who again is focusing on the ARL. Manages to take the ARL out, he's swinging his gun round, but the Chaffee should be able to take him out before he gets his gun on target, and he indeed is able to do just that. So that was his fourth kill so far of this match. Going to drop now into the enemy spawn area and see if he can get some damage on these last two remaining heavy tanks, which are in this north area of the map. You can see one heavy tank. Well, they're, they're both actually engaged in duels there, one with a f another heavy tank and one with a tank destroyer. So hopefully should be able to get a little bit of damage through them just to pad his scores out a little bit but still getting four kills in a tier eight match isn't is sorry not isn't is a, a pretty good score for a chaffee here oh tiger p on a tiny bit of health there gonna finally use sniper mode to try and take him out and there we go able to take him out and in fact if he's lucky this tiger too oh there we go presents his side armor and gets himself taken out there. That's probably a Reaper medal for him as well, as that was two, three kills there with one shot each. So absolutely brilliant replay from Turtle Speed there. Stick around, guys, because there will be end plates at the end of this video. So thank you very much to him for sending that replay in. Thank you to you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.